We're going to be looking at backgrounds and strips today. So this is a strip. This is a strip. This is a strip. Basically, strips are big blocks that you add to your site by hitting this add button and going down to, of course, get well, guess what we're going to go down to? We're going to go down to strip. And you can choose from any of these different layouts, kind of like templates. They are templates. And you're going to drag them onto your site. Now, for site templates, this is why I recommended having templates like this. When you choose from a template, you don't have to work from, you know, 10 to 15 different strips that may not fit an ice cream parlor. But when you go to templates, you can choose something that comes with strips that are already edited and customized to, you know, something that you want to do. So basically, strips are imported this way. If you want to add a strip, again, I'm going to show you one more time. On the sidebar menu, hit Add, then simply go down to Strip. What you're going to do is click or even just drag onto your site. So if we want to add this strip, we've just dragged this strip to the top for best ice cream. Obviously, this is silly. We're not going to do it. If you want to undo anything on Wix, all you have to do is press Control and Z, or if you're on a Mac computer, Command and Z. Bam, we've just undid a mistake. So you want to make sure you undo mistakes before you hit publish or that mistake is permanent until you obviously remove it. It's not permanent forever, but you're not going to be able to undo it with um, a hot key on your keyboard, which would take a little bit longer. So that's as simple as it is when it comes to adding you know, different strips. But I also want to talk about editing those strips. So let's say we talk, put the strip down. It's as simple as editing buttons, hitting the button, you can change the text, or there's a link button over here. You can link, because you can link to your menu, but you can also link to your history, or book an event, or about. So let's say we wanted to link to the about page. This says menu right now. So again, we're going to click menu, going to go to change text, and we're looking at the about, so we're going to put about. Then we're going to add a link. And we are going to link the about page. So which page? The about page. Done. As simple as that. One more time, we click the button, change text, change it to about. Where does it link to? We click there and we choose about. Very simple. So now we've edited that strip. We can keep moving down and editing you know, each individual strip. It's as simple as that. You don't like a strip? Remove the strip. See, the whole strip is now gone. Obviously, there's space here that needs filling in. It's just blank here. So one option, once you've removed a strip and you want to make the website shorter instead of having this random blank you know, thing here, simply drag. There's At this corner of your screen, there is you know, like a little circle. What you can do is press and hold and drag up. And as you see, your whole website is becoming smaller. So you've removed a strip. You're responsible to actually fill in that space with another strip or to bring your site down so it flows smoothly. You want to make sure your footer is also attached you know, as much as you want. There you go. There's your footer. So now this is your whole site. So as you can see, you can add strips, you can remove strips, and you can edit strips. But what about backgrounds? You know, when you're changing the site background to, let's say, this theme. You may hit that theme and say, hey, I don't see anything. Well, where's my background? Well, you have strips laid over your background. What you do is if you move this down, bam, you have your background right there. It's right here. And if you preview the site, it's actually a moving background. So you can be responsible for how you edit that, but just understand that if you put in a video background, it's going to take some time for your site to load, a little bit longer. And when it takes longer for your site to load, this is going to sound silly, but it may actually affect your SEO. I'm not saying don't have video backgrounds. Tons of great sites do. All I'm saying is uh, understand that when you're actually implementing a background that <laughs> you know, you're going to actually choose something that's that's suitable. If you have 100 videos and your pages take forever to load, Google isn't going to rank you as high just because 
you know, they want sites that are going to be optimized, loading fully and working well. So it's as simple as that. If you want to change backgrounds, you could simply, well, if you want to add things like textures, you can go into video settings. Um, and another thing that I recommend doing is just, you know, having a relevant background. Like, don't just choose a background because it looks good. Have a relevant background to your site. I'm going to change the background again. Um, and I don't want a video in, in this case. What I may do is just something really simple, like let's say, let's see if we can find ice cream. There we go. So even if that's not showing at the moment, because I'm going to actually drag this up, in the future if we ever want to remove a strip, we're going to have that in the background. So it might be good just to set your background as that even though it's not showing. Um, and somewhere at the bottom, like below your footer, you can actually see a little bit of it. So, you know, that's all it takes when it comes to backgrounds, footers, and headers. Be sure to update those social media handles. I don't want to go too in-depth with a single lecture, but just simply go back to your editor, hit here, go to settings. You just click the icons, and then you'll go in and you can choose the layout, the design. The settings are going to be your actual linking, okay? So setting your links here so it's as simple as that once you've edited all that you have the strips and your backgrounds and i wanted to mention to go back and fix that you are set to go again we're going to get more complex so let's move forward fast and keep building a beautiful wix site